Hey guys, good morning, it's Tony. Um, I did have a lot of you asking me about Big C and because, you know, and, and to make a new video on TA uh, because of the run-up recently that it's had. Um, so, I mean, it's going to be relatively a quick, you know, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a quick, um, a quick breakdown on TA. Um, right now, I'm still pretty bullish on... On Big C, I do think it might go all the way back up to eighty six dollars. Um, as as far as you know, where I think the next price target is, the next price target for me is going to be eighty six bucks. And then if we break that price point, I do think we're going to go all the way back up to ninety eight dollars. My I'm, my first uh, profit taking is going to be at around ninety three bucks, right? Um, but I do think we're well on the road um, to go back to eighty six and then to retest um, uh, ninety eight bucks, right? So I mean, we already had actually, let me see, where's my forecast? So from lows, we already had a run up of 26% from the 64 lows about, what was it, like a week ago? Um, I don't, yeah, I mean, I think it is going to, I think we're going to keep running up. We might see a small uh, decline today. Um, as you guys can see on the 30 minutes, we actually just crossed uh, the 30 minute MACD. So we might uh, touch back down depending on how long this lasts. I mean, on average, when we do see a cross over the MACD like this, let me see, last time we crossed was on the ground, $3 level, three level. So last time this happened, we dropped about, yeah, I mean, we dropped, we dropped a decent amount. I mean, last time that this happened, last time this happened, we dropped about, you know, like 10 bucks a little bit more than ten dollars which kind of sucks right so it, it kind of sucks to see that but as of this point we are around 80 dollars um right now with the crossing depending on how strong this momentum is um the lowest that i can see it is we can probably retest the 70 dollar level on big c um and then kind of shoot up from there but the good thing is that the day chart at least for the macd we just crossed it so um, I do fully expect us to hit $106, um, not soon, but maybe in the next, you know, couple of weeks, right? Maybe even sooner because Big C is known to have these huge run-ups and, and the way that these candles are set up, they're, they're huge, 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 uh, bullish candles. So I do expect, um, you know, I do fully expect the run-up, uh, to happen pretty nicely or pretty soon, um. Let me fix this real quick. Yeah, but like I said before, um my i mean last time i predicted big c we did rally this whole thing i mean i did say you know we're gonna hit from 70 we're gonna go straight to 108 and ex exactly what happened i'm actually i'll get rid of this arrow because i don't need that anymore that was a while ago i do think the same is gonna happen i mean these bullish candles are way too strong um to actually you know set us back anything um like i said my take profit my next take profit is probably gonna be around the $93 level. Um, I do fully expect Big C to hit $86, maybe today, maybe next week. Uh, and then within two weeks, I do expect to be back up at the $98 level. Um, so as far as, you know, as far as momentum, we're doing pretty well. Uh, I'm not too worried about Big C at all. I mean, we might retest the $70 level. We might not. But as far as, far as you know, my sentiment, I'm, I'm pretty bullish right now on Big C, especially because we just crossed the, the one day MACD. And I think there's going to be news of them confirming that they're still working with Facebook and Instagram um, on their shopping cart or the integration on, on Instagram. So I think that would definitely help them push, push them a lot because last time that happened, you know, they pushed them from you know, from what is it like $63 all the way up to 140. And I still think to this day that we're going to go back up to 140, 100%. If, if you hold long enough, right? Nobody really knows. But I, I, in my opinion, I do think big commerce has the capability to compete with Shopify. I do think their, their clients are bigger. They're, they're a lot bigger base. You know, they have clients like, you know, Skull Candy, they have Sony, they have, I think Pepsi, they have, you know, they have people already making money, like a shit ton of money. So, Especially with the PS5 sales from Sony, like that's probably going to up big commerce like crazy. So I do recommend holding them up until their Q4 earnings, which would be next year, I think. I don't know exactly when their earnings are. Uh, let's actually check to see if we can go any further. We can't, but um, we'll have to see for their next earnings that would actually be pushed from the Sony sales from the PS5. So um, yeah, next price target is going to be, I do think we're going to hit $98 soon. Um, we might retest the $70 level. We have to see the momentum on the 30 hour chart, 
but I do think we're well on our way back to test 108 bucks. Um, but that's like I said, that might take, you know, last time that run up took about October, like man, maybe like a month. So in in I I if we do retest the 108 level, um, I do see it retesting maybe in about three weeks or so, maybe in a month, maybe a little bit less. But at, at minimum, I think two three weeks uh, is gonna be when we might touch the 108 level. I'll see you later, guys.